guys, so today on Candy Toy Box, I'm going to show you how to play the Poppet Dice Game, or they also call it the Poppet Chess Game. So it's very fun and it's super simple, and you can also play it in the classroom, and you can also use it to practice your multiplication and your addition. So first I'm going to tell you the basics, and then I'm going to tell you six ways you can alter it for the classroom. So first you have to decide how you want to play. Do you want the number you roll on the dice to be how many bubbles you have to pop? Or do you want it to be how many bubbles your opponent has to pop? Now you have to decide, do you want the person who pops all their bubbles first to win the game? Or do you want the person who pops all the bubbles first to lose the game? To play the game, you simply take turns rolling the dice and popping the bubbles until one of you has reached the end. Whether you mark it as a win or a loss, you can keep up with the, how many rounds you've won with the three bubbles in the middle of the game board. You can use it like a scoreboard three different rounds or best out of five. The poppets have been so helpful for learning activities in the classroom and at home for homework. So I have six different ways that you can tally up your dice to help with your addition and multiplication skills. Now the first way is the most standard way which is using two dice and you roll and then you add the two together. And the second way would be slowing the game down a little bit by just using one dice. It'll just take a little bit longer to complete each round. So now the third way is you use one dice and you roll it and you multiply it by itself or you square it. So for the fourth way, you're going to roll one dice and then you're going to multiply it by a given multiple. So if you're doing multiples of five, then you multiply it by five. Or if you've been told multiples of six, then you multiply it by six. So the fifth way is you roll both dice and instead of adding them together, you multiply them. And the sixth way is to roll both dice, add them together, and then multiply by a given multiple. Now I know that the numbers get quite large after you add and then multiply. You can take a screenshot of this page and the next page, but you can order a um, larger pop it game board. Now, if you had some trouble when you were doing your multiplication facts, you should check out this video right here. It'll show you how to make a multiplication chart on a 100 piece pop it, and it'll really help you get up to speed to memorize those facts and have that pop it chart. So thanks for watching guys and if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and Candy Toy Box peace out.